Life the end of men. Chaos control. Space desperation. Super sonic. Collision. Untamed power. Maria. Professor Christ. Gerald got the truth about 50 years ago. Everything. Sonic Adventure 2. Last episode. Wishes are eternal. Greetings, I'm Solid Scully, and welcome to the final story of Sonic Adventure 2. Strap yourselves in for some major revelations, dude. Uh, 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 what the? Uh, what's going on? Why doesn't the cannon fire? What? What's happening here? What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait! Someone is coming! You... You haven't given up yet? Oh, it's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. The Space Colony Ark is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed along with your beloved planet Earth. scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else- I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? Still alive, Just huh? letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The, the colony, colony was completely was shut down, down probably, probably to keep the, to prototype, keep the prototype, from prototype from falling into the wrong falling hands. Into the wrong hands. The Ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the Ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way, I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind 
to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him. If you wish, release and awaken it If you to the wish world. to fill the world with destruction, Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. The core of the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather Rick. That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony composition may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm, that's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the master emerald has the power to stop the chaos emerald. Right, if I use this, I just might be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emerald is moving toward the cannon's core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. I'm the world's fastest hedgehog! Then, let's get to work! So, that's pretty much the situation. We all must work together to get to the cannon's core. Well, all except for Shadow, of course. He pretty much wanted this to happen all along, and if you were wondering who was setting those dominoes in place... Yeah, Joel Robotic and Shadow was very much his agent, so... Yeah. Anyway, to kind of talk about cannon's core, uh, one thing I do love about this level, apart from, you know, the whole... Oh shit, we're all going to die unless we band together and pull our resources? Well, there's also the sense of level progression. Again, we gradually go from, you know, general space colony whatever kind of things, but we eventually get closer when we do start to see, you know, the Bernoulli principle of hydrodynamics at work. And again, because I mean, remember, without the Chaos Emeralds, this station was still functioning, so how exactly do they harness that Chaos Emerald en energy? Those of you who played Sonic Adventure and Sonic and & Knuckles may be familiar with this practice, but uh, I stay my tongue. Anyway, the big gimmick of the now is, of course, uh, time stop capsules. You see those little, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, those little uh, galaxy void looking things on the walls? Well, yeah, flick those switches, and time stops for a limited time. Keep that under your hat because it might come in handy for a little uh, cheaty cheat by the time we get to Sonic's segment, and, uh, yeah, despite the fact that we have the blue, you know, mission segment indicating Sonic's playthrough, yeah, this one is pretty much involving all characters, so, uh, yeah, if you're planning on getting the biggest score threshold, you really gotta put the work in as all characters and use all those skills you've learned throughout the game to their fullest extent, and uh... Yeah, to kind of talk about that a little bit more. Yeah, in terms of uh, getting a bigger time bonus, you know, utilizing the uh, time stop uh, switches can help immensely as you, uh, you know, try and even the odds in your favor. But in any case, this is very much a piecemeal kind of thing. Destroy the Dora's tails, then Eggman's time to shine as he goes forward and pretty much takes over from there. All of this is just to make our way gradually towards the cannon's core, and, uh... Yeah, you remember that very viscous, wasty liquid that we saw, you know, all throughout the Eternal Engine, and, uh... You know, as Agma was tra traversing through the Lost Colony? Well, something tells me that might come into play. But in any case, so, uh, I guess to stop talking about random scientific bullshit, now it's time to talk about... ...chill... ...bullshit. By which I mean the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie that was, uh... Well, announced, had a reveal trailer uh, about a couple of weeks ago, actually. Well, a couple of weeks till now. And the only reason why I'm really pausing is because my editor is lagging, so do ex- And now we're back. So, uh, anyway, part of the reason why I wanted to talk about the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie trailer is, uh, well, for two reasons. One, to get my general thoughts on it. And, uh, two, we'll get into a little bit later. But in the meantime, thoughts on the trailer. Obviously, being based on Sonic Adventure 2, including Shadow and all that, doing its own spin on it, I did actually quite enjoy the trailer, it feels like a nice balance between the sort of tone that Adventure 2 had mixed in with, you know, the sort of, well, family-friendly, actionized tone of the, you know, previous Sonic movies, so, yeah, doesn't seem too bad. Do like Keanu Reeves' Shadow, and, uh, 
Not to say I'm quite curious to see how it plays out, especially since it seems to have the whole Sonic and Eggman teaming up from the get-go, although given that it's Jim Carrey's Eggman, well, who knows how it's going to play out. Uh, but the second reason why I wanted to talk about it, I don't know how fitting we're playing as Eggman right now, is uh, also another character that Jim Carrey is playing, Professor Gerald Robotnik. And uh, yeah, unlike Sonic Adventure 2, where it's quite obvious that the man is uh, long since deceased, yeah, in the movie continuity, uh, yeah, F Professor Gerald Robotnik is in fact alive. Uh, so, yeah, they seem to be playing up the whole idea of uh, Gerald Robotnik being flat out evil in more of like a maniacal cartoonish villain kind of way. You know, in keeping with uh, Jim Carrey's portrayal of, you know, Dr. Robotnik in that film, relatively consistent. So, it's obviously doing something different, which, uh, you know, uh, it's quite curious. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, not really spoiler since it's kind of a bit of a foregone conclusion in that scene in and of itself in the trailer, but... Yeah, Maria Robotnik is still dead in the Sonic movie continuity, you know, as part of Shadow's backstory, but, uh, yeah, Professor Joel Robotnik lives on. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not even Eggman's grandfather in that continuity, I, I think he, I think, uh, he refers to him as father, so, yeah, technically Joel is Eggman's dad in the movie universe? I don't know, it, it just leaves me wondering what exactly, what direction they're gonna go, it seems to be more of the whole... Uh, the thing of it is, is that I really don't know, I mean, I... I don't think they're going to go the tragic route, uh, you know, given what they have with, uh, you know, Sonic Adventure 2 and how Gerald portrays himself here, where it's actually legitimate insanity as opposed to more tee hee hoddle ha insanity, but... I don't know, I'm curious to see how it plays out. It's different, but... I don't know. Uh, I'm curious to see how it works out. But anyway, this, right here as we get back into the gameplay, this is where the principle of the Bernoulli Faith Colony called Ark is playing. As again, you can see a lot of this, uh, rather viscous waste. Okay. Well, I mean, as soon as we get past the whole time puzzle, Rouge's mission is to fill up this chamber with, well, a lot of that viscous liquid that you're seeing around here. Not the green stuff, mind you, because that's a wee bit poisonous, but, uh, a lot of the orange guns that you can see just sort of flowing through the walls of, uh, the colony right there. So, yeah, throw the switch, hit the button, and, uh, then it's Knuckles' time to shine. But, yeah, that's, uh, you know... <laughs> That's the Bernoulli principle of hydrodynamics at work. And what was also uh, powering the colony, because you remember back around uh, Sonic Adventure with the Echidna tribe, uh, particularly the Master Emerald shrine that Knuckles would eventually start guarding, you know, by the, around about Sonic the Hedgehog 3's time. Yeah, well. Notice, uh, you know, that constantly surrounding the Master Emerald is usually a body of water. Well, I mean, okay, okay, putting aside the other shrine to the Master Emerald that's inside that little crystalline uh, area of Hidden Palace Zone, but. You know, crystalline structures, they are usually designed with, uh, you know, a lot of stalagmites, stalactites, can only really be formed through rock formations, and the application of water, you know, to mold and shape the land, as they say. But anyway, the salient point and scientific point I was trying to bring up is that, uh, yeah, remember, remember what I said about, uh, you know, Bernoulli's hydro pr principle of hydrodynamics, flowing water at the expense of pressure. So yeah. Basically, this entire space this space station, no, this entire space station is powered by water. Well, and whatever this viscous liquid is, so, yeah. Science, motherfuckers. That was a really roundabout way of saying something that was utterly simple, but then again... <laughs> that's just what happens when you do commentary, you try and get out complex thoughts, and you fail. But though, speaking of complex thoughts, I uh, certainly hope you got the air necklace, otherwise your journey will be made a buttload harder. Now, bear in mind, it's not impossible to complete this section without the air necklace from a uh, aquatic mine, but it is, well, made a little bit harder. You do have, like, a lot of air bubbles that in typical, you know, Mega Drive Sonic tradition you can pick up and uh, extend Knuckles' life, but likewise, though, uh, you know, the journey is made a little bit more treacherous because of that little caveat. So, if you have the air necklace, you're pretty good, but if not, then, well, yeah, uh, might, be, might be making things a bit harder for yourself. But there are also other hazards at play that you got to look out for. Uh, primarily, using time stop boxes to stop, you know, <laughs> Bernoulli's principle of hydrodynamics with all the flow giving power to the rest of the station. Well, yeah, pretty much blowing Knuckles back and thus reducing his air just a little bit more. But yeah, nothing really to worry about. As soon as we open up the final area, then it's Sonic's time to shine and, well, a relatively sort, uh, sort? No, a relatively short section if you know what you're doing. Primarily, and especially if you know a little cheat code that I'll get to, uh, well, not cheat code in the traditional sense of, you know, entering in button inputs, but, uh, 
Mainly just a little bit of a something you can pull off if you're skilled enough. Oh, that Resident Evil Code Veronica alarm. I don't know uh, where that originated first, was it Code Veronica or Sega? Because, I mean, technically Sonic Adventure 2 was in development in the year 2000. Code Veronica released in 2000 and had help from Sega staff of development, so... Who knows, really? But in any case, p uh, part of this little trick that you can only really pull off with Sonic because he's fast enough is that, uh... Yeah, get nearby one of those little time stop switches and, uh... Basically, rev up your spin dash, and if you get away quick enough... You have permanent time stop for the entire level. Enemies freeze in place, and, uh, well, Sonic can also, you know, <laughs> score an A rank that way. But yeah, now you're really noticing the principle of hydrodynamics at work, with this setup being very familiar to Sonic Adventure. Setup similar to, you know, the Lost World area of Sonic Adventure with the Echidna Pyramid Cave, and, uh, yeah. Seems that Joe Robotnik took a lot more influence than, in fact, uh, people might have suspected, but. In any case, this pretty much leads us towards our final area. And on that note, I am Solo to Scully, keep a new medal, and next time on the Sonic Adventure 2 commentary, we get to the final part of the game, where we end this, once and for all. Huh, no problem.